welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time tuning in, then hey girl or boy, how you doing? My name is Claudia and I upload videos once a week, so I am hoping you're here to stay. Also for my returnees slash service, thank you also so much for stopping back by. So in today's video, I'll be sharing my skincare routine with you all, which is something really simple, straight to the point, and I'm using minimal products that you can find at your local drugstore. So I do have oily skin, meaning I'm acne and blemish prone, and therefore I'll be showing you what products I use to try and keep all that oil under control, moisturize and hydrate my skin at the same time. I'm sure you might be wondering, why would you want to hydrate an oily skin? Why would you want to moisturize an oily skin? Don't you already have enough oil to hydrate your skin? No go. That's what people have confused. Oil with hydration. Because when your skin becomes dry, your body responds by producing more oil. And that extra oil leads to pores being clogged. Clogged pores leads to more pimples. So that means all skin types need hydration. The same way your hair and the entire body needs hydration, that's the same way the skin needs hydration. Because the goals of moisturizers is to improve the skin's hydration by adding more water to it. So, so before I show you the products that I'm using and how I apply them every day, let me just quickly take it down memory lane on my skin journey. So I won't stand here and lie that I had the clearest skin or my skin has always been spotless or that I also went through years of bad experience with acne because honestly I didn't. During my puberty time I would get a few pimples pop out here and there especially when it was that time of the month but it would dry up within two or three days leave a dark mark that would fade over time on its own. I didn't use any of this fancy stuff that I'm currently experiencing with. At that point what I was using was my Dove soap which I use on my entire body. I use my Nivea cream which I also used on my face, on my body and sometimes if I wanted to be fancy I would use the Lemon Light a day face cream, my Pons day and night cream and that was basically it. I didn't know anything about toners, um, face wipes, moisturizers, serums or even sunscreen. I didn't know anything about skincare and I didn't even bother to do research and to purchase all the expensive stuff. When it came to my makeup, I didn't even use um, primers. All I used was my foundation, which was really cheap, a black uh, pencil to draw on two stripes, some lipstick, and I was done. So I feel that also led to me not having a problematic skin. Not saying that or everybody who had experience, bad experience during that time with their skin was because they used a lot of different because there's a lot of factors that leads to acne. I'm just talking about my experience. I feel like the minimal products that I used at that time was actually the reason that I didn't have like a bad um, acne experience. So my acne started in last year during my pregnancy time. So you know in the beginning of your pregnancy, your skin be glowing and popping, your hair be thick and long, thick nails growing really long and strong and everything feels so glorious around you until I reached my second trimester so in the middle of my second trimester my skin was like what's popping? what glow? where? what clear skin? my skin was starting to break out really bad at first I would cover it up with um, foundation, with makeup but it got so worse that I couldn't even use skincare products and at that point I was using the Johnson's and Johnson's hydration range which was working really well I feel like the rose water did its things in the beginning it added to that extra pregnancy glow but when my skin got really bad I couldn't even touch any of that products because my skin started getting like a really bad rash it was burning and I started using started with my DIY uh, mask I love DIYing so I started using turmeric face mask with honey and lemon and plain yogurt. I even used banana mask, apple mask, all the masks that you can find. I've tried it. Okay, I've googled anything. Tomato mask. I even bought an aloe vera plant just to use the raw aloe vera. You know, just to try and clear up the skin, calm down the rash, and go. Did I not worsen the case? Like my skin was freaking out. My skin started breaking out real bad. Like I, I went into depression mode. Like I was so down. Cause you know how 
how your skin, how old acne can work with your emotions and stuff like that. And on top of that, I had a big nose. So I was like, my God, what the hell? My skin was really bad. I had to stop using anything and just rinse my face with warm water and um, use my Vaseline Blue Seal, which kind of calmed my skin. But then I realized that I had to see a dermatologist. Even though it would have cost me how much I needed to see a specialist that would tell me what was wrong was it my diet was i allergic to something because i didn't know what was going on but that time i didn't have enough time yet in sa i had to go abroad to give birth so i left and i thought okay once i'm that side i'll go see a specialist so when i got there the few weeks that i was still indoors my skin actually come down i don't know if it was the atmosphere or because it was summer there and winter here i don't know but my skin my skin calmed down and i left i was left with a lot of hyperpigmentation a lot of dark marks so i then went to um, a pharmacy I, I felt like all the dark marks i didn't really need a dermatologist i don't know why but i went to a pharmacy I asked, I asked for something to clear up the dark marks she was like you're pregnant so we can't um, actually give you anything yet so i was at home and guess what on top of the dark marks big nose i grew two words right here like they were hanging Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, what have I done? If this is pregnancy, I don't want it no more. Like, and I went back to the pharmacy. I was like, can you give me what freezes? At least just to, to get rid of that too. And she's like, you're pregnant, I can't. And I decided I'm going to purchase some what freezes from Amazon. I got um, the... I'll, I'll insert a photo somewhere, somewhere here. I purchased that. That didn't even work. So I was left with all the swats and dark marks and big nose. <laughs> I had to live with myself. I was like, I'm going to embrace this. I don't know a lot of people around here. A lot of people don't know me. So they might think like that's how I look like. So girl, I was wandering around with that with that big nose with all that was going on after giving birth i went back to the pharmacy don't know why i didn't go to a dermatologist but i went back to the pharmacy i was like okay i gave birth can you give me something and she was like okay i do have a cream i actually have it here she gave me this cream um which i i it's still full so which was which i used day and night i actually just use it for like two weeks because I was so sensitive with smell. I still am. I don't use um, spray, body spray or any perfume because I can't I can't bear strong fragrances. So this has like a, a fragrance. It smelled really good, but I couldn't handle it. So I stopped using it at that point. And I then just decided like, I'm going to head back. Um, when I get back to SA, that's when I'm going to go see a dermatologist in my town because maybe I'll have to go for treatments because I was Googling. I was on YouTube all day, every day watching um people with acne um going for peeling solutions and i was like i'm gonna go to that those treatments so i got back to sa i then googled a local dermatologist and there was good reviews about this one dermatologist like everybody recommended him but he was no longer in town so i was like i'll have to see somebody else i saw there was a skin doctor and a physician so i went to her place and girl I understand that this is this is your job. I understand that when you are maybe in that um, career path or I don't know, you'll have to recommend people products that you sell and stuff like that. But girl, it's expensive. Okay, it can be really expensive sometimes. Sometimes we don't have that money and we just want to clear up. We just want to feel good about ourselves, but we have to pay thousands to get clear skin. So I came there. She made me fill out an entire form. She was like. Um, you have oily skin and that's why you have acne. I'm like, tell me something I don't already know. I know I have oily skin. Like, can you give me um, like treatments, like peeling facial treatments or stuff like that? She's like, yeah, they, they actually do have a package, but I'll have to take, because um, it's skincare, it's the, the treatments and then it's supplements. So I know myself, I don't love taking medication. I hate taking pills. I suck at medication i'm scared of hospitals i don't like medication okay 
So I was like, okay, so how much is it gonna cost me? She's like, oh, first I have to explain. So for the skincare you need, um, we will give you cleansers and foam cleansers and gel cleansers and toners and all. She mentioned all that sport blisters and all that. And then for um, and that one would that package would cost me more or less four thousand. And then she's like, um, for the treatments, you'll have to come every second week. That will cost more or less 6000 Then for the supplements, she's like, I'll need to give you zinc. I'm like, zinc, this chemo clicks, check. Um, and also omega-3, I'm like, omega-3, this chemo clicks, check. I'm not going to spend too much money. Yeah, I'll go get those things. And she told me like the supplements would also cost like four thousand or something. At the end, she's like, um, it might be like twelve thousand a month, and you need to continue this treatment for eight months. <laughs> Unemployed as where do I get that money? I'm not working. I don't have money. I'm like, okay, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. And I never went back. If I bump into her in the spar, and she's like, come here, the sooner you start, the better. Results and I'm going to be honest with you, I can't afford you. Why is it so expensive? She told me that they import them from Portugal. It's not my problem. I can't. So that's when I actually decided to start experimenting on myself because I love, I love trying out things. I, I love things. I started experimenting on myself, did my research, saw reviews from people trying out stuff because I know like cleansers go for 40 and 30 rands, um, day creams go for 30, 20. I was like, I'm going to experiment on myself. Every month I'm going to buy a different product or every second week I'm going to try out products because I'm, I'm, I'm really impatient. I don't like waiting. I want to see results as soon as possible. And I know it's not a good thing, but that's just how I am. So that's when I started experimenting until now. I'm still experimenting, I'm still trying out different products. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you see, or you would know every Monday and Tuesday, I'm trying out, um, I'm doing self-care days. I have self-care days. So I try out different products that I see reviews from and when people recommend them, like I go purchase them if they're affordable and I try them out. So I'm currently trying out the Neutrogena um, products from three of their ranges. The last uh, products that I used was the Sultan skincare range and I had the whole box. I'm not sure if I still have a photo, but I'll check on the website and just show you how it looks like. That actually felt like it was working at some point. Um, I felt like my, my face was brightening up, the dark marks was fading a little bit. But once I was about to run out of products, I was thinking like, should I be stock or what? And that's when the product was like, no man. My skin started breaking out down here again. And I was like, next, because I know myself, if I've already tried out the product, I'm not going back nowhere. You busy? I'm going to be showing you what I am currently using from Neutrogena and all the other stuff. Also, I'll let you know. I'll keep you all updated on my skin, by the way. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm trying out. I'm actually thinking of going back to the olden days when I just used the Dove and the Lemon Light creams or bonds. I'm thinking of trying that because all this fancy stuff, your Eucerin, what what, Visvis, those things, they, they, they just don't, they're not working with my skin. I like trying out things, but honestly speaking, uh, my skin has, has, has really improved. I'm going to come up closer so you can see. So I still have all this left. And do you see those large pores? Gosh. Down here, down here. Let me just show you where the what was. Here is the dark mark. Um, I also had a what somewhere here. And the other one was also down here, but I'll show you. I'll insert the photo of how the, the words look like, like, girl, pregnancy is no joke. You're lucky if you have clear skin by the end of your pregnancy, it might be okay. But okay, let's get into the skincare. So the products that I'll mostly be focusing on are from Neutrogena. And Neutrogena has, I don't know how many different ranges, but I'm just gonna mention the few that I could find. So they have the Continuous Hydration range, Effective Spot Fighting range, the Pore Tightening range, and the Fight Spot and Blackhead range. So I got three different products from their ranges, from three different ranges. And the first one, or the cleanser that I have, is from the Fighting Sports and Dark and Blackheads 
range and it is a visibly clear spot proving two in one wash and mask and I love this I sometimes wear it as a mask for about 10 to 20 minutes and sometimes I just use it to wash my face for 60 seconds so this works with your skin to help clear spots and defend against new breakouts I love how this smells so minty and also leaves my face feeling so fresh after washing it off and the next product I got is from the continuous hydration range and it is the Hydro Boost Exfoliator it's a smoothing gel and it helps boost hydration helps refine the skin and leaves it touchably supple and it does has hyaluronic acid in it so I love the fact that it is a smoothing gel so the particles in it are not that big as you would find in your normal exfoliators meaning that it doesn't really damage the skin and it's so smooth on the skin after using it it also leaves the skin really smooth I use this twice a week you don't want to exceed using this because it can really tear up your skin or it will leave it irritated so yeah then the next product from Neutrogena is the toner. It's also from the Fighting Spots and Blackheads range. So I had the toner in its original bottle. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that on my self-care stories. Um, but I, well, once I started running out, I placed it in this old um, skincare bottle because I love the applicator and I feel like I have enough control when I spray the product onto the cotton pad instead of dumping it because sometimes I tend to waste or use a lot of products. So the, the toner that's in here, it's the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Proving Purifying Toner and this works with your skin to help clear spots and defend against new breakouts and I am obsessed with this toner. This really hydrate my skin so you know some toners would um, dry out your skin completely and strip your skin from all its moisture and its oil but this not this hydrates my skin so well it leaves my it leaves my skin glowing and it doesn't dry out my skin at all so i love i love this toner i'm obsessed with this toner i sometimes use it like three four times a day that's how i love this toner it cleanses my skin and it tones it at the same time so that's what i have in here and then the last product from neutrogena is the visibly even daily moisturizer with spf 30 in it and it's from the visibly even range and this like i said it's a moisturizer it uh, helps reduce bloatiness and the looks of dark spots so i love that this toner has sunscreen in it um sometimes i don't i'm not in the mood to wear um my nivea sunscreen and i'll tell you why and that's why i love that i got this um with the sunscreen in it with spf 30 in it because most of the times I, I don't really go out i'll go on the balcony maybe for like a few seconds or a few minutes just to get in a little bit of vitamin d and then i'm back in the house all day so then i prefer using my moisturizer instead of the moisturizer with the sunscreen and the reason why i got like different products from um different ranges is because I feel like when I stick to one range I sometimes don't see results at all and I felt like let me pick up one product from each range that I feel works for me or that says something that I actually need so the next product I got is from Sobet and this is the age effect power serum so I was not initially not looking for a age effect serum I was just looking for a vitamin C serum but neither did Discam nor Clix have any in stock so they recommended I get this so it has vitamin A C and E in it and you know the importance of vitamin C I'm just going to open so vitamin C is an antideotent, meaning it protects the skin cells from damaging um, caused by the UVA exposure. It also inhibits melanin products in the skin, which helps to lighten hyperpigmentation, brown, uh, brown spots, even out the skin tone and enhance skin radiance. So that is why I was initially looking for a vitamin C uh, serum, but I will 
find I actually found one on take a lot that I might purchase sometime soon but I love this I actually do enjoy using this power serum it's really light on the skin and yeah it just helps it also adds a little bit of glow and hydration to it so yeah this is what I got from um, clicks and it's from the Sobek range then I have my sunscreen. We all know the importance of sunscreen. I already mentioned it in my previous video. If you haven't checked that out, um, I'll leave the link to it in the description box. So um, I got the sunscreen from Nivea. I actually had this for a long time. Um, but I would say that this actually, I've noticed that it kind of leads to me breaking out even more. Um, it is quite oily, I'm sure with maybe most of the sunscreens, but yeah, it does lead me to break out even more. One of my girlfriends also told me that this broke her out so bad that she had to change um, to a different sunscreen. So this is a moisturizing sunscreen and it is um, very high in SPF, it has SPF 50 in it and it is for the kids, it has color, it's a colored, um, sunscreen we know the importance like i already mentioned but i did actually went and pick up a new sunscreen which i'll put up right here um so yeah i got a new one and i am excited to try out that one because it is actually for the face so yeah this is the next product i have then the other product that i got is the is an eye cream so after the trauma i went through with my skin my eyes was left really dark like as you can see right now i still do have like really dark circles around my eye so i was looking for like a brightening eye cream but i couldn't find any as well so i had to settle for this one and this is just an um anti-aging eye cream that was also recommended at Clicks. So it is the Clicks Skin Care Collection. It's the white T plus Q10 complex eye cream and this um, just helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines, um, expression wrinkles and deeper wrinkles. So yeah, I just use this every day around my eyes just to moisturize it as well. Then uh, what I use for drying my skin is a paper towel or kitchen paper or whatever you want to call this. Um, I use this to dry my skin. I feel that this works really well because it doesn't catch any bacteria and I can dispose it after using it. Um, but do, if you do have like a face or a cloth that's only dedicated for your face and you always wash it out after using it and let it air dry or sun dry, then I'm sure if that works for you, then you better stick to that but this is what I actually use and I feel it works really well because towels tend to catch a lot of bacteria especially when they're still like wet when you after using it and you just have it inside and then I have my dark cotton pads that I love and I always use this always stock up on it and then what I use to cleanse my face is this face brush and it is from the Carmen Beauty um, range it's the facial appliator and brush set so I use the sensitive brush the pink one and it has an exfoliate exfoliating brush a beauty sponge it has a facial appliator and then a facial brush and then just your product cleaning brush and your charging cord that's included so yeah this is what I use and I only use this once a month that's also if I remember. My baby is knocking on the door. That's also when I remember. I only use this once a month because um, once again when I went through that trauma, I was so um, obsessed with getting my skin cleared that, that I just wanted to get this whole layer of skin off and I used this every second day, um, which ended up tearing my skin completely. Like it bruised my skin so bad. You know when you have that bruise on your skin, that's how I felt right here. My pores was completely uh, clogged. Like I couldn't get any products to sunk into my skin. They were just placed on top of my skin. Like they were just on the surface. And that made me scared. That really made me like think about using it. I only use it um, once a month, like I mentioned, and also just to exfoliate. It's the same, I feel like it does the same as the exfoliator. It just did cleanse the skin. So yeah, don't 
go overboard with this. This is going to harm your skin, honestly. And yeah, that's all the products I have. I'm quickly going to show you how I go about to clean my entire face and how I apply the product. So yeah. So firstly, I run my tap with warm water, not lukewarm, not uh, hot, warm water because I want to open up my pores um, so that all the products can really work. And you also just want to start off by washing your hands before you actually start touching your face, you know? Get all that dirt off before doing all that. So that's just what I'm going to be doing. So I set my phone for 60 seconds um, and then I'm going to wash my face for 60 seconds. This just vibrate and not rotate. So when I exfoliate, I don't really exfoliate that much here because um, this part is really sensitive. You can clog your pores down here if you exfoliate too much here or if you focus intensely, me, intensively in this area. Now that my face is completely dry, do you see the shine? <laughs> now that my face is completely dry, I'm going in with my toner and I just spray a few pumps like so. And then I swap. Now I leave this toner to dry a little bit and it doesn't dry like completely, it always leaves my skin a little bit tacky. And now that my skin has dried a bit um, and it's completely tacky, look at the glow the toner leaves. It hydrates my skin so well, I am obsessed with this toner. Okay, so next, after toning, I use my power serum, which is actually supposed to be my vitamin C, and I just pump like one, two, three, and four. So the direction of applying this is um, blah, 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 morning and evening. Gently glide the serum over your cheeks, forehead, chin, neck, and apply with sweeping upwards movement. So, because it's anti-aging, you know when, when people maybe go for like a, a facelift, it would be like upwards and not downwards. So when you apply this, you want to go upwards, like in an upwards motion. Every, you want to give each product a little bit time to work its way into the skin and do its job before applying the next product otherwise you'll just be ending up you'll just end up packing the products on top of each other if you don't give each product time moisturizer and this one it smells like black tea i love it okay 
and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my pen. I feel like a little goes a long way. Just to give that to my fingers and then in a circular motion. Now after that, I'm going to apply my eye cream. Okay, so I am actually running out. And yeah, I'm going to apply a little bit up here. And last. Then second lastly, I will be using sunscreen and like I said, it's already oily. I'm just going to use one pump, just a little bit. <laughs> then lastly for my lips, I will be using my Catrice Cosmetic dewy fill lips and it's a conditioning lip butter with shea butter in it smells so good so delicious i used to use <laughs> i used to use i don't know if i'm saying that i used to use the aloe vera food uh skin food i love this stuff this is really good stuff i bought it at the scam and honestly i already ran out because i mixed this with my magnolia tissue oil and applied it all over my body and also for my lips. It smells so nice. Oh, it actually smells like Vaseline, but yeah. Um, I love this. I'm obsessed with this right now. It was $54.99 mark off. Um, and I just apply a bit of this. It does have like a nude undertone, but I don't mind. Cause we be looking cute for the bed, okay? If my story is relatable and you have been through the exact same situation, you have been struggling to get your skin all cleared up, you hated how your skin looked like, you were self-conscious, you couldn't leave the house without wearing makeup, then let me tell you a little something something. All these dark marks, this hyperpigmentation, this acne scarring, these circles around my eyes means that there's something triggering your skin to produce more melanin. And that melanin is a natural pigment that gives your skin its natural color, your eyes its color, and the hair the color so what does that mean it means that we are overflowed in melanin we are floating a melanin it's an overproduction of melanin so it's time that we as women stop beating ourselves up because how our face looks like or how our skin looks like we need to learn to embrace our flaws we need to learn to love our imperfections i don't see men going around beating themselves up with all that large pores and all that gunk around their noses so us women need to learn to love our imperfections and I know it's hard I know it's difficult I've been through the exact same but after giving birth I realized that girl you've been through all that trauma all that heartache all that crying all that wondering all that hate all that self-hate to bring in a beautiful human being into this world to give birth you give life to another human being so you know all these has an entire story to tell and that's exactly how we should feel like my face has a story to tell it's not that I don't care about my face or I'm not taking care of it like girl ask me and I shall tell you okay and that brings us to the end of this video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell right next to it so you can always be notified once i upload a new video which comes out once a week also leave a comment down below let me know if you've been through an acne journey how you went about clearing up your skin or if you're still trying to improve your skin do let me know if you've tried out any of these products and what's your take on that i'd love to interact with you guys in the comment section do check out the description box for all the products that i have used today and don't forget to share with your friends and your girlfriends so we can grow together cheers to women's month to stay safe and see you all in my next video bye